Friends, today I will show you under the sum uh, of quadratic equation. Uh, let's read the question. A train travels a distance of 300 km at a constant speed. If the speed of the train is increased by 5 km per hour, the journey would have taken 2 hours less. Find the original speed. Again, find the original speed of the train. So, there are two speeds over here. One is original and the new speed. And let's solve the sums with a simple box. The first one is, like say, you can say speed, distance and time. Remember that in the quadratic equation, whenever we frame the table, uh, two rows, you should use the data of the uh, sum whatever the data is given to it, like whatever the data is given in the sum, you should use in the two rows and the third data you should use while framing the equation. Okay, probably uh, most of you must have not understood. Let me explain to you with this example. Uh, a train travels a distance of 300 kilometers. So this is one data. The distance is 300 kilometers. It would be in either case is 300 kilometers. So students, you can read the questions very carefully. I can check it out. The distance in both the cases 300 kilometers or not. In this given example, the, the distance in both the uh, cases, original and the new, remains same. It's 300 kilometers. So write the distance in both the uh, columns 300, 300 kilometers. Make sure that you are re you are writing the units in a given data. At a constant speed, a train is travels a distance of 300 km at a constant speed. If the speed of the train is increased by 5 km per hour, see what we have to find? Find the original speed of the train. We have to find the original speed of the train. So I'll write let the speed original be x kmph, that is kilometers per hour. So let the original speed be x km per hour. And in the new case, what is happening? Let's read the question again. If the speed of the train is increased, this increase, what is important, is increased by 5 km per hour. So since it is increasing by 5, uh, what was original speed? X. And now it is becoming X plus 5. I hope you understand that. If it is decreased by 5, you'll write X minus 5. If it is double the speed, then you'll write 2X. I hope you know this basic stuff, but still some, some students are new. To this topic so I'm explaining this. So again this is a data of uh, speed so we'll have to write the uh, unit as kilometers per hour. And now since we have used two data over here speed data and the distance data we'll have to write it at the time in terms of speed and distance form. So you know the students you must have learned in the lower standard speed is equals to distance upon time. So I'll write it on this time in forms of distance and speed. So if you will take this time on the uh, left hand side, the speed will go to the right hand side and that will go in the denominator. This is like the basics of uh, solving equations. So the time will become distance upon speed. The time will become distance upon speed. So since the time is distance upon speed, since the time will become distance upon speed, the time will become distance is 300 upon x and over here the time will become 300 because the distance over here is 300 and the speed speed should be in the denominator. The speed over here is x plus 5 and now since this is a, again time we will have to write in the unit. The, the unit will be now because this was kilometer per hour this unit will be in hour and this will also be in hours. Okay. Now the important task uh, to frame the equation. So here, one second, I'll repeat. We've used two data, uh, speed and distance, and the third data we've used in form of these two data. And now this third data we'll use while making or while framing the equations or the quadratic equations. So we'll have to repeat once again the question. Uh, the journey would have taken two hours less. See, when you have increased the speed, uh, the time taken would be less. Whenever uh, larger the speed, lesser the time. So this time is less than this. 
again I'll repeat this time is less than this by two hours so what we'll do the larger minus smaller is equals to two here students remember that since it is in hours and this is also in hours this quantity the resultant quantity also has to be in hours in case if it is in minutes uh, you will convert that into hours and that is how it's supposed to be done Say suppose if it is 90 minutes if it is 90 minutes given so we'll have to simply divide that by 60 so it get converted into hours so 90 by 60 will become 33 is and 32 is a hour I hope you understood how to convert this minutes to hours. It's very simple. Just divide this minute by 60 and you're going to get your hours. Anyway, this was just an example. In our case, it was just given two hours. So it was a little simpler. And to frame the quadratic equation, you get two marks out of four marks. So this is like the halfway done. Now, I hope you know how to solve this equation. In case if you know, pause the video and say to that whether you know how to solve the equations or not. And in case if you do not know, just pay attention how I'm solving this. It's really simple. 300 in the both numerators, so I can take it out. 300 common outside, and then this will become 1 by x minus 1 upon x plus 5, which equals to 2. Now, what I did, I just factorized that 300 was common, so I've taken it out. Uh, remember that for presentation, there are a lot many marks are allotted, so. For presentation, you can give this there for science and this equal to science one below one, so by which your presentation would be really neat. So 300 into the bracket. Now this is the LCM, like subtractions of the two fractions. And how it is supposed to be done, you must have learned in the lower standard, but still, since you're watching my videos, I'll rip it once again over here how to add and subtract these two fractions. It's really easy. You can just do cross multiplication. These into this, that is step one. It is compulsory you'll have to do step one as like these to this. So this will become x plus five into one. So that is x plus five minus Second step, this into this. Second step is this into this. You cannot alter the steps. So step one is this, step two is this. This is step one and this is step two and this is step three. Step three would be denominators into the denominator. So that will become x into x plus y. I hope you have understood this. In case not, please rewind this video. So what happened is x and x will get cancelled easily and so we have left over with 300 into uh, 300 into 5 that will become uh, okay I guess I can put the cancel is 2 1s are 2 and then 2 150s are 300 and now whatever is left over will just simplify so this is left over like uh, 150 into 5 750 upon uh, I hope you know that like you know 2 into 1 by 5 in case if you have to do what we do I will try to simplify or we'll try to cancel in case if it is not getting cancelled what we do we'll, write, we'll multiply this 2 into this numerator that's 2 upon the denominator as it is 5 so the same thing I did over here 150 into 5 that becomes 750 and the denominator would be x into x x square and it is x into 5 uh, x into 5 will become 5x. Most of the students, what they do, they, they multiply x into x, x square, and then they write 5. And that is something called as error in maths. And since it was 1, I wrote 1 over here. And now I'll do cross multiplication. So like 750, uh, which equals to this 1 into this, so it will become x square plus 5x. And now, okay, don't forget this equals to should be 1 below 1, and therefore should be 1 below 1. And now what it will becomes like, you know, uh, I'll take it uh, x squared plus 5x minus 750, which equals to 0. And now what we'll do, we'll have to factorize this. So we have, we have to have two factors of 750, uh, that is rather negative 750, whose sum should be 5. And now most of the people struggle over here. So it's simple, it's simple actual techniques like, you know, you can do 25. Uh, 25 3 is a 75. I hope you know that 25 3 is a 75 and then you'll have to just give the zero So I'll give either zero that to 25 or else to 3 in case if I'll give it to 3 it becomes 30 and 25 and yeah, That's simple. We are done 25 into 30 is 750 and 30 or else uh, 25 30 minus 25 will be 
uh, positive file. So this should be positive and this is negative. I hope you understand that product and sum. So we are matching with the product as minus 50 and we are matching with the sum as plus 5. So our work is almost done. x square minus 25x plus 30x minus 750 which equals to 0. And then it's really simple. In my previous videos, I've already taught you how to do this fact position. So keep watching my previous videos to get this update only. So what I'll do, I'll just take this 30 common x minus 25, which equals to 0. And then what will be the next? You can take this x minus 25 common outside. And then again, what is left over? And that's x plus 30. And now when the product of the two numbers is 0, when either x minus 25 is equals to 0 or x plus 30 is equals to 0. So if x minus 25 is 0, x would be 25 or x would be negative 30. And you know this x was, this x was uh, speed. This x was speed and the speed shouldn't be negative. Speed shouldn't be uh, negative so this will be rejected. This would be rejected and uh, as I told you earlier, whenever something we reject, we'll have to write it down the reason why we're rejecting it. So why we're rejecting it? Since speed...